All right, so before they're all gone for the spring, I wanted to make sure and do a video about our spring um, uh, ephemeral plants. And I'm not talking about the ephemeral wildflowers because that's a specific definition, but ephemeral as in these herbs bloom very quickly and then they go to seed and, and die away. They're annuals. So um, first and foremost, we've got chickweed. And you can see how the leaves, let's get this better lit. The leaves go in fours. So you've got kind of a cardinal direction action going on. You've got north, south, east, and west. They are spade shaped leaves. Um, it's going to be hard to show on this video, but there is a single line of hairs growing along the stem. Let's see if you can get. You might or might not be able to see a single line of hairs. So that's kind of unusual instead of it being hairy all, all the way around. Um, another identifying feature is when you pull it open, like it did right there, it's got this elastic, it's almost stretchy like a rubber band, elastic bundle of fibers uh, in between. So even once you crack the stem, it's still got, it's still being held together by those fibers, those plant fibers, okay? Um, and then we've got dead nettle here. Purple dead nettle has no relation to stinging nettle. It's in the mint family, so as most mint family members, it's got square stems. You can feel the corners on it, four sides. I'm sure most of you recognize this plant from your lawn. It's got these hooded purple fuzzy flowers, fluffy leaves. It has a close relative called henbit dead nettle, also edible. Very, very similar. Henbit just has deeper um, grooves uh, cut into the leaves and is less fluffy. But all of these are very nutritious. Um, a lot of them have also been associated with helping with allergies, particularly chickweed and dead nettle. Um, so purple dead nettle tastes a lot like raw mushrooms to me. Chickweed tastes a lot like that bright green bean flavor. Um, also, we've got dandelions. Is that in focus? Let's see. Um, so a lot of you probably know that dandelions are edible. Just make sure you don't get a look-alike. Um, for me, I really look for pointy Christmas tree shaped leaves. Okay, and this one's kind of like thin and scraggly. Um, they can have a lot of different um, leaf morphology, a lot of different leaf shapes to them. So let me see if I can get a, a little more geometric looking one. So here, this is very typical of dandelion right here. Like a Christmas tree that you would draw as a kid pointy like a saw okay dandelion leaves are bitter but when you get them young they're so good for cleansing your liver and the root also very uh great liver tonic you can make into a tea and it's very comforting comforting they sell like a i think like a dandy blend or dandy tea so roasted chicory root roasted dandelion root um it's like a caffeine free coffee substitute very very tasty stuff up oh, and here's the um here's the henbit we were talking about the henbit dead nettle you can't see the pink flowers on it because they've already gone to seed, but it's got square stems, yes, and it's got these flower bracts where the flowers used to be, okay? And then I think of it as like henbit because it looks like a henbit little triangles out of the leaf edges. But also a spring edible. So eat them up. They're so full of phytonutrients. They're free. They're out here. Up. Oh. And I think this just jumped out at me for a good reason. Don't forget your violet leaves. Perfect hearts, geometric hearts, scalloped edges. And um, the young leaves unfold like a scroll. They have that classic spiral unfolding pattern to it. Let's give another example. You can kind of see that they're kind of curled inward until they open up. Here's another really good one with both sides curling in. So we've got violet flowers. Violets are um, a great spinach substitute. They have a very mild flavor. You could eat tons and tons of them. They're demulcent, which means they kind of help restore the, um, the moisture to your body and soothe the mucous membranes. Um, so they're really great for like a dry or sore throat or something like that. Um, you can make them into a tea, salad, cook them. Um, they're fantastic. So eat your spring greens. If you have any questions about identification, just shoot it my way.